That was the JavaScript API for building web apps. Now I want to transition to building native applications on devices. And for that, we have the runtime SDKs. We've got five APIs working across six platforms. Now, these APIs are excellent clients to your web GIS. They allow you to build cross-platform, cross-device applications and get these distributed into the app stores. And since we released the runtime a little over three years ago, we've had three releases a year. Every single release significantly increases the functionality that's available to you as developers. So the toolkit now that's available is an extremely rich toolkit for native application development. But perhaps the one reason that you will want to use the runtime is to build applications that go offline. And to support your offline workflows, there's a number of capabilities that we work on, and we're very flexible so that you can integrate with your workflows. You're not forced to work in a single mode. Now, over the last couple of releases, we've enhanced the basic functionality. And these enhancements really make it much easier, faster, more efficient to, for your users to go offline with polygon areas and scheduled updates and base maps. So what I'd like to do now is to pass over to Mike from the .NET Runtime team, and he's going to show us these three enhancements. Mike. Thanks, Ewan. We're going to take a look at three nice enhancements to offline workflows that increase scalability, performance, and flexibility. First is polygon map areas. You can now use polygons in addition to rectangular extents to define the map areas you want to take offline. In this application built with ArcGIS Runtime, We'll see the difference this can make, particularly for linear features such as roads. Requesting the feature and base map data by rectangular extent needed to cover a survey of the I-15 in Southern California would result in an estimated offline map size of over 200 megabytes, including over 20,000 base map tiles. By contrast, I've used the ArcGIS Runtime API to quickly buffer and generalize the road polyline to create a polygon that represents just the area that I need for this survey. The size for the new map area is now estimated at just 20 megabytes and fewer than 2,000 base map tiles. Polygon map areas are supported for both on-demand and pre-planned workflows. They increase scal scalability of your offline workflows because they reduce the load on the server and map areas are faster for your users to download. The second enhancement is scheduled map updates. For pre-planned workflows that are read-only, you can now define a schedule on which your map errors will automatically be updated online. You can configure this in the offline settings for your web map. Under the Manage Areas section, and then it's defined on a per map area basis. Choosing the I-15 map area that we worked with earlier, you can see in the summary information that this map area updates weekly at 9 p.m. In the settings, I've defined that this map area should update Sunday, weekly, and I've enabled scheduled updates. When the update process runs, Delta files are generated online that contain just the changes to the features in this map area. These small change only updates increase the scalability of this workflow because many users can download the update at the same time and apply the changes locally without any additional load on the server. And the third enhancement is using existing base maps on the device in conjunction with feature data you take offline. Under the advanced options for offline for your web map, you can now specify the name of a tile package that users will already have on their device. This means you can deploy a larger, more detailed base map to each of your users, and they can share that between multiple maps. Switching back to my ArcGIS runtime application, we'll see this in a pre-planned workflow. Fetching the available map areas, I'll choose the I-15 map area that we were working with earlier. And you can see my application code has read the web map settings, determines the name of the base map that's configured for use with this web map as imagery base map tile package. And it's found that locally on my device in a well-known location and enabled the option to use this existing base map. Now when I download the map, it's much faster because it's just downloading the feature data and the ArcGIS runtime is combining that with the existing local base map that I have. 
So notice in the view that it switched from that online streets vector base map to the local imagery base map that was referenced. You've just seen three valuable enhancements to offline workflows. Polygon map areas, scheduled updates, and using existing on-device base maps. Individually, these increase scalability and performance, and you can combine them for greater flexibility in your offline workflows.